gonna do here is um, I'm actually going to take the same two colors that I put on the or into the crease. So it's that same brown color and the sky over here at the mm -hmm. end of the blush palette. And I'm gonna work the same colors underneath the eye. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to incorporate because we do have a really nice smoky pencil um, in our lockdown box. But I'm just going to show you what to do to really blend it out and make all the colors sort of gel together and come together. Amalgamate. Amalgamate is such a great word. Cool. So uh, what I was going to say is, I don't know if you ladies notice that I haven't worked under the eye yet. Um, yes. So... I find that this is quite an important tip to share with ladies. Generally, um, what I normally do with applications is I always start with the eyes first and then I go into blending my concealer, doing my highlighting under the eye and the rest of the work on the actual skin. Because what happens is when you're working with things like mascara and eyeshadow and that sort of thing, you create quite a lot of drop off and quite a lot of mess underneath the eye area. That's why I generally leave the concealer for like once I've done the eye work. I'm quite excited about our smoky pencil. I'm gonna show you ladies how to really define the eye with this pencil um so it's super super sharp and that is a really really good thing to remember when you're working with um eye pencils so you really don't want to work with something that's too blunt because you're wanting something quite precise um so rather the sharper the better okay so i'm going to just blend around the eye area um, and just show you how to create, I'm gonna talk like a few, about a few little rules that you need to remember when it comes to lining, especially underneath the eye and when you're working with black. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start by lining the top lash line. What's really nice about a pencil like this, and you can see like that was with one stroke. It's, it's really, it's a great pencil. And because it's so sharp, you're able to take it out into a bit of a wing to extend that smoky eye a little bit more. So a lot of women don't actually know that they can create a wing with a pencil and make it look really stunning. So it's obviously not as, um, how can I say, it's not as intense yes. or as defined as like a liquid liner, but this gives you a really nice, softer wing so you can see if I move back a little bit if you compare that eye to that def that, that definition it really does just give the eye like it completes the look if I can put it that way so I'm gonna go along this line now and then just remember when you're working just a tip when you're working with um, a pencil you might need a tissue um, because if you if you've got a shimmer on the lid it can sometimes get onto the pencil and then you lose the intensity. So what you can do is just wipe it or like just rub the tissue onto it as you're working with it to keep that intensity of the black pencil. Basically what Storm said, I know my liner isn't beautiful, <laughs> but that top one is a phantom liquid liner, which is this one here. So you can see the difference in terms of the smoky pencil versus a liner. The liner is much more intense. Done the same on either side, just to wing it out a little bit, just to extend the eye a little bit more. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is remember we took the shadow sort of underneath the eye area. I'm just going to show you how to blend your pencil in with the shadows that you've taken underneath the eye. So these are the little tips that I wanted to give you ladies quickly. So when it comes to working, especially with black, you have to be careful because black and darker colors under the eye can close the eye up and can make your eyes look smaller than they actually are. So if you do have smaller eyes, you are wanting to be quite careful with the placements of your eyeliner, um, especially if it's black. So black is, is very, very, it's a hectic color. Um, and it can close the eyes up, which is not what you want to go for. Basically, <laughs> that that waterline there, the very inner line of your eye, 
you're wanting to keep your liner away from that unless you're working with like a nude or a white. So as soon as you apply a black onto that waterline, you're going to close your eyes up. It, it can work for certain eye shapes or eye types or certain looks, especially if you're creating like a really intense smoky look. I will sometimes actually put it on that line, but for a more natural look or something not as intense, try and keep it away from that line. So what you're wanting to do is just sort of go onto the, the line where you can see your lashes coming through. That's where you're wanting to keep it. And then just remember, you don't want to take your line all the way to the inner corner because that's also going to change the shape of your eye. You're wanting to enhance your natural eye shape. So if you're taking it too, you sort of too close to the inner corner, you're going to lose the, the actual beautiful natural shape of your eye. A really good brush to have in your kit, which we'll also use just now for brows, is something that is quite angled and sharp. So this is a nice brush to keep in your kit because you can do a lot with it. Um, it's a multifunctional brush, so you can go over the eye, uh, the eyebrows, and then you can, maybe I'll actually use it and show you. I'm gonna take the brown that we took into the crease. I'm gonna take that color, and then I'm just going to run it over the, um, the black pencil that I used. And what this does is it actually just blends that line out. And then what I'm also doing is with the black, I'm taking a tiny, tiny bit of the black powder. And what this is actually gonna do is number one, it's gonna intensify the black that you've used um, with the liner. And then what it also does is it actually sets your pencil. Mascara. Um, yes. I think it's such a cute bottle. I love the, I love the bottle. What I normally do is, so the bigger brush is what I apply with, and then your lower, the little brush at the top, I actually use to run through the lashes to make sure there's no clumping, or it's, a, it's such a nice little brush to do that with. So I'm just gonna show you how I normally do it. Is you really wanna give your lashes lots of lift, so what I normally do is just lift my chin, so you're gonna get a nice nasal view now. So basically, we're just going to run the mascara, almost like a zigzag um, motion through the lashes. And I'm just going to lift, and it's a really, really nice mascara. Um, I, find, I find like I can't go without mascara. Mascara is one of the things that I can't go without because I feel like I'm not, I'm not ready for the day until I have mascara on. So we're just going to run that. Um, the little lower lashes one is a really nice size to run through your bottom lashes. And I really find putting mascara on your bottom lashes just finishes the look beautifully. I'm just going to take a bit of micellar water. And now is when you want to just clean under the eye. If you don't wipe it away and then do your concealer, you get like a really like ashy black brown sort of tone to your um, makeup under the eye. So make sure that you've really, really um, cleaned up. Just re remember ladies, if you've wiped away um, product under the eye, remember that you're also going to have wiped away your moisturizer or your whatever primer you sort of applied. So, and it is important to make sure that you reapply a primer. So I've just put a little bit of the primer oil back underneath the eye area because um, this is the most important area that you're wanting your makeup to hold because this is where it smudges, this is where it starts moving the most. So just make sure that you reapply whatever product you put onto your face just to put back whatever you've wiped off, okay? Okay, so now we are going to talk about highlighting and contouring. So I'm just gonna show you with the, with the matte um, coverage concealer, and we spoke earlier, for those of the ladies who missed it, you can also use a lighter um, foundation stick um, from Ever Beauty. Same thing, okay. <laughs> and remember, your concealer is what you're going to use for all of the highlighted areas of the face. And you do need to make sure that your concealer is at least one to two shades lighter than the rest of your face or the foundation that you're using. Majority of your highlights are going to be with a concealer. 
or a lighter foundation. And then some of the areas of the face, you can use a powder highlighter or a shimmer. So I'm gonna show you how to incorporate both. So I'm going to go under the eye area. So basically not applying too much because it's quite a full coverage um, concealer, which is lovely. So we're just gonna go under the eye and remember what you need to remember when applying concealer under the eye. Don't take it too close to your eye area. So you're wanting to keep it quite low. You can see I've left a bit of a gap. Make sure that you're not applying too much. Remember, you can always apply more. So less is always more with a, a full coverage concealer. And you'll see now what it's going to do is really just brighten the under eye area. And I'm just using a nice little blending brush. So basically to prevent your creasing, make sure that you're not applying it too close to your lower lash line. Keep it quite low and then blend it up. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so because what happens is if we have too much product, it's going to settle in the fine lines around the eye. And um, with the creasing problem as well, um, we're going to fix that with a setting powder. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The setting powder will help with that. Um, what I've done now with the concealer, um, I've gone, so basically where you're wanting to position your highlight, so we've done under the eye, and then you're wanting to put a little bit on the forehead and then between the brows, then you're going to take it down the bridge of the nose, you're going to take it under the nose onto a little bit of your cupid's bow, you can put a bit of product there, because I'm going to show you why that's an important part to highlight, and then you're going to take it under the chin. So you can see, like, I know I look a little bit strange, it's not like fully blended, but you can see how the, the contents or the highlighting is bringing like quite a lot of shape to the face. And once we introduce a contour, we're gonna get a really, really nice application and everything's gonna just really blend beautifully together. So yeah, that's your highlight. And it's coming together really nicely.